Good morning and welcome to a new video. Today's video, as you see, is going to be what my new daily routine has been. Obviously, it varies from day to day, but for the most part, this is what my work day life has been like. For the time being, it has been very early morning meetings. By 4.30, I'm already on a call, but that's not going to be every day. On days where I don't have it for 30 a.m. calls. I'm hoping to continue to wake up at 4 a.m. but take that morning time more so for myself to journal and to read my Bible or whatever the case is. Just take some time. It is currently 6 30 a.m. right now and I do want to get myself a little bit more together this morning while I have the time in between meetings. If you are new here and do not know, my name is Haywan and I just recently moved to Hawaii from the East Coast, which is why I start my work day much earlier than most people, but I also get to end my work day much earlier than most people, which is fantastic and you'll see um, just what time I get off work today. myself a nice and filling breakfast. It's just a PB&J with some fruit, but something is better than nothing in the morning. I don't know if I've spoken about this before, but I'm really trying to reduce down on my coffee intake, so I'm going with smaller and smaller cups. Um, I have noticed that I definitely am more jittery and more anxious when I have a lot of coffee. I'm going to try and switch to matcha, but I don't know if, really, if matcha really be kicking the way coffee does. So it, let me know if you guys are matcha people and if you guys like it. I'm doing that walk of, is it called a walk of shame? I don't know if it's really that shameful, but when you finally come downstairs after God knows how many hours of looking at your computer screen, it is finally end of the work day, which is 12.03, which I love that for me. I still have a few things, I'm not gonna lie to you. I still have a few things I'm probably gonna, a few emails I'm gonna send out after this, but first, I am starving and I'm going to eat my lunch really quick because I want my food to digest by the time I get to the gym, which is where we're going next, by the way. And I wanted to show you guys these sticky notes. I talked about it over on my Instagram, but I got these little post-it notes from Target. It basically has like a meal planner. So this one has Monday through, fr Monday through Sunday and it has what's cooking. It has breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this is amazing. When I was younger, my, my mom used to do this for us where, you know, she had four kids and we all had our own different eating styles. Like I hated vegetables, whereas like Nina would love tomatoes and all types of vegetables. So instead of making a separate meal every night for each person, my mom would have us kind of create our ideal meal plan for the week and then she would always stick it up on the fridge. So we always knew what we were gonna eat at every meal and I just have such fond memories of that because I remember, I think it was on Thursday nights, we would have french fries for dinner and I literally would look forward to Thursday nights because I knew we were having french fries for dinner. Like. Anywho, when I saw this at Target, I'm like, I gotta have it. One, for nostalgia reasons, and two, because it has made life so much easier. So, today is Monday, and for lunch, we're having subs. I say we, me, I'm having subs. But another great thing is, for grocery shopping reasons, yesterday when I went to the store, I made sure to get everything I needed 
for the next two to three days to be able to get our food while it's still fresh. And I got some bread and I'm wondering, am I feeling French bread or Italian bread? It's time to try this massive sub. I actually might cut this in half because this is way too much. Mmm. Yep. Mmm. So, let me go finish my work real quick. Send out my last few emails for the day. And I will catch you guys when I get ready to work out. Yo. I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you. I'm only. You. Okay, it's a little bit later. Oh, ah. Ugh. That workout was so painful, but in the best way possible. I've been using, um, I think it's called Lift with Liana, the app, um, because I followed the girl Liana on TikTok and she literally, her body is like literal body goals and she has an entire workout app. I used to have all of the workouts that I would create for myself. Um, all of last year, I created all of my own workouts. But I felt like to take it to the next level, I really wanted to follow a workout program. And so I've been using Lift by Liana. Her app is so good and it has its own self timer, your rest times based on if you work from home or, or work, work out at home or work out at a gym, the different equipment needed. So I've been really enjoying her app and I've been using it now for the past two weeks since we've been here. The only thing that's a little annoying is sometimes the gyms get so crowded. So I really have to like time the times that I get to the gym and also it's a little bit far away. But I never, ever regret going to the gym. Like it can be a little hard getting to the gym, you know, the motivation you need to get up and go. But once you're there, it like I've never regretted being at the gym once I leave, you know? So I love that feeling, the endorphins, it just really calms my mind. And I don't work out for body goals anymore. I, I think I like the seeing progress in my body. But I work out, even if I'm not lifting or any sort of program, purely for the mentality of it all. And I think that's why my I've been so anxious so much is because my body's been out of whack and I haven't been working out as often and on like a schedule as I used to before. God, like it really took me working out like it's nobody's business this past week to really remind me how much mental stability it brings you when you're working out an amazon package just came in i purchased the switch bot i don't know if you guys know what this is but it's basically a little tiny bot that you could put on any of your light switches to make them more autom uh, like automatic i guess it's kind of like a little tiny uh robot but this is basically what it does. And the reason why I bought it is because our garage, if you guys saw the house tour that I did of this place, is detached from our actual house. So if I wanna go open the garage, I have to go outside the house to open it or we have to use our garage clicker. So even if we want somebody to come in or open the garage for Amazon or whatever the case is, it's kind of a hassle uh, if we don't have the garage opener on us. So this one is a little tiny bot that has like a little clicker thingy here, which I'll show you what it does. You see that? That little thing would basically click on anything for you and it's automized and you can use it on their app. So I'm gonna use this for our garage door so that we can open it through our phone if we wanna let people in. Anyways, I really wanna make our house much more smart. Like I wanna have a smart home. I don't know, I've been a little bit tech geeky recently. You guys know I work in IT so this kind of stuff already like it's embedded in me like i love new fun gadgets especially when it's like little tiny cute little bots that you could just you know make your house a little bit more fun but anyways i have an amazon problem i definitely want to do an amazon haul for you guys because i've gotten so much furniture and so many like house stuff from amazon so thank you so much for watching today's vlog 
Every time I talk about how I've transitioned into working into the IT field, I've gotten a lot of questions on how, what courses to take, and a lot of these really good questions. And I've done a Q&A and I've talked a lot about how I got in and the process that I took and how there's like so many different ways to transition into tech that do not require you to go to school. And because of that, I've actually been talking to so many different people, coworkers, family members, and getting as many resources as I can. If you are interested in transitioning your career to working from home or especially working in the tech field, definitely check out the description and fill out the little Google form because I'm going to be sending out all of the resources. I've been sharing a lot over on my TikTok, but I'm going to send out links, scholarships, internship, I, internships, courses that I've taken, free and paid certifications, all the things, all the information I'm gathering for you guys. So if that's something that you guys are interested in or you're just curious about, go ahead and put your email down below and I'll send out those resources to you guys. I'm also working on a little guide slash PDF that, that's going to be so helpful and filled with so much information. So, so make sure to check that out. And if you are noticing something, very much something different about me, stay tuned for the next vlog. Guys, I have so much tea and the reason why it's been so hard to get these videos out is because so much is going on and I know you guys understand and if you guys want to keep up with me on more on like the daily basis or you're just curious about what Heywan is doing, check out my Instagram and on my TikTok. I'm making a change today, the liquor been taking the pain away I heard you was giving your chain away, that's kind of like giving your fame away What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do A boss is a road that I've grown into I love you to death, but I told you the truth I can't just